Hello and welcome to another Minecraft video. Uh, today I'm just going to be showing you another combination lock that I have just thought up. And um, basically uh, what most combination locks use is uh, some sort of counter to be able to you know, see how many uh, button presses there has been and then if there's been more than you'd want in a usual combination then it resets. Um, but this time, what I've done is uh, set up an RS Norlatch so that if uh, it, if the button presses it twice, it resets the entire system. So I'll, I'll give you a quick demonstration. Uh, the combination is, I've got them all up here. Uh, of course, the signs wouldn't actually be here, so you just remember your order. Five, uh, six. Seven and hopefully eight. Yeah, you see, and then the doors open. Now we can go look at the circuitry. Uh, just ignore this last one. I made one too many and didn't use it. Just to keep it symmetrical. Um, okay, basically, what you see here is the RS Norlatch. So I think I'll just build this for you. So. The RS Norlatch is just like that. And I'm sure you've seen that before. And it's just like that. Now, usually you just send power into it and it switches around. Which is what we do here. But what we also want to tell is when it's switched round, then we want it to, if another impulse comes round, then we. <coughs> then we um, reset the entire system. So to do this, the first thing we need to do is detect whether the system has been switched around. So this line turns off. So we just use a repeater here and put a block on there like that and dust above it. Now, if we have that, then when the system gets switched around, you can see that this light here turns on but we only want this light here to turn on when when there's a, another button press coming through so to detect the button press what I do is just put a torch there now these have to be delayed a bit uh, otherwise um, this system switches round and that light will turn on uh, before uh, so it sends a reset message before you actually want it. So, because a, a button press is or basically almost two repeater lengths set on their fourth um, setting. So you have to put the delay there so that the the initial button press goes through and then it goes through the RS Norlatch. Oops. And so you can just fix that up like that and then this torch here goes onto the line of dust here now this line of dust simply just connects up to this um, reset line that just travels all the way through uh, you may have to watch out a little if um, yours going a, a more than 15 like mine is here um, the signal may not reach from the last one so what you have to do is just place a repeater in between the two because it doesn't have to go two ways um, you can just keep it going the single way and also what I do here is I add another button um, another button uh, of delay so that the combination has come through and then it resets I just do that for purposes I don't think you actually need that and then at the back all we do is take off all the signals from the RS null latches and feed that along to the door uh, if you do your system correctly you won't need uh, all of these you'll only need the last one to detect whether that's turned off and if so then it will res and then it can open the doors um, but it's not it's not necessary to have all of those along there it's just easier 
and now uh, if we clicked any button of the any of these buttons then the door resets and you could also set up a reset button or you could set up pressure plates with the reset you could just simply place that into that line there going into the uh, reset line you can detach that any way you wanted to okay thank you very much for watching i hope to see you next time bye